Wouldn't it be awesome if you had an employee that you could just give them your YouTube title and a few key points and they could create your whole YouTube script for you that's ready to go? Well, today I'm going to show you just how to do that by creating your own AI agent or virtual assistant using one of my new favorite programs, Taskade. If you're not familiar with Taskade, Taskade is a project management productivity tool. Now you could do simple things like create a checklist. So what you're doing this week and check these little things off. And as they get checked off, you know, it takes it off your list. That's all great, but Taskade can do so much more. Taskade is AI powered productivity. Not only can you just do tasks and projects, but you can create AI agents. And that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to create an AI agent that writes YouTube scripts for me and will save me tons of time. Now, before I create my AI agent, I need to give it some information. And the information that it needs to know is how I want it to write my YouTube scripts. So I need to give it some knowledge. So the first thing I needed to do was create the script writing template. So I went into Taskade and created a new template. And this basically gives all the information to the AI agent of how I want it to write the script. If you're not familiar with Ed from Film Booth, he put out a video about how to create YouTube scripts that are better than 99% of other YouTubers and scripts out there. So he talks about using the bins method, which is basically an idea that's big, easy, new, and safe. And then for your title and thumbnail, the design should get the viewer to think. It should work off the following criteria. It should pose three big questions to the viewer. And then what are 10 other questions that the user might have based on your thumbnail and title? Then it should have various types of hooks in the video. So a question hook would be something like, are you struggling with your home to keep your home organized? Um, a story a hook, um, something that grabs the reader's attention to pull them in, them in. I never thought I'd be fighting for my life in a quiet suburban neighborhood, but here I was dodging bullets behind a minivan. So that's a good story introduction to like, whoa, what happened there that you had to end up hiding behind your van? And then you've got statement hooks. Imagine doubling your sale in just 30 days. That's a good statement basically to hook a viewer in. So I had to explain to it what those different hooks were and some examples for it. And then you have your setup. Video should talk about one to three exciting lessons that you want to teach or explain in the video. And they could be a list of things you want to cover in your video and do those past the bits. Um, then you have your loop. It's another hook that poses another interesting question. You've got your lessons and points. This goes into more story and details about how you got to the point or understand or learn this certain thing. So you start off with story and then you end up um, making your point at the end of the story and then recap the story uh, with a point that you're trying to make and move on to the next lesson. Then finally, your call to action. You know, it could be another hook, you know, to set them up to watch another view a video that's on your channel or maybe point them to your website to solve another issue. So that's the information that I needed to teach it before it could start writing these, these scripts. So the next thing I needed to do was create the agent. So I created a YouTube content creator script writer and we're going to go into edit this agent and I'm going to go over to knowledge because I needed to feed that information to this agent, this virtual assistant. So I fed it my YouTube script template. I also fed it the actual YouTube video that I got this information from how to write scripts better than 99% of YouTubers. So I'm using that. You could add media, you could add another project, you could add links, you could add Google Drive documents, Dropbox, Box, so on. So all of that can be fed in here as knowledge for your agent. Now let's talk about the agent itself. I had to give it some instructions. Here's what you're going to do. You're a content creator. Your task is to produce an engaging and informative content tailored specific to specific audiences. 
Utilize creative storytelling, industry insights, multimedia tools to craft the content that educates, entertains, and inspires action. So that's the setup for it. I told it before you start writing the script, um, come up uh, with a main title. The title should be a statement that starts with how, what, or why. Also give three alternative titles for the video that are catching that could hook the viewer. Give some ideas that could be used for the thumbnail of the video based on the title. Give me up to 10 questions that a viewer may ask based on the title and thumbnail. Be sure to include square bracket tags as section headings that are bold. Then I also told it, write the script for an engaging and informative video on the specific topic. The script should start with a captivating introduction that hooks the audience immediately. You can add in a little bit of humor to keep the viewer engaged. Uh, use the hook to uh, type specific in the introduction. Ensure that it aligns with our brand's voice. It's professional, playful, inspirational. The body of the script should provide clear information about the topic, incorporating storytelling, case studies if applicable. Each lesson should start with a story, then include key points, statistics, depth, subject matter, use topic research to enhance the script, um, play, plan for transaction or transitions between segments to maintain the viewer engagement, integrate interactive elements like questions and prompts for viewers to comment. Um, conclude with a strong closing statement that reinforces the key messages and includes a call to action to the relative relevant to our brand, such as visiting our website and so on. And then finally, use the following formula to output the script. Introduction, hook, lesson one, two, three, conclusion. So there you go. That is my virtual assistant, what I want them to do. I've given them knowledge. I've given them instructions on how to do their job. And now we're going to let it do its job. I created an automation to do all of this. And let's explain what the automation does. So I'm going to open this up. Move this over here a little bit so you can see what's going on. And turn that off. So when a task is completed, this is what's going to happen. And I'm going to have it look at the project YouTube script prompts. So when that task is completed, do this. Ask the agent, my YouTube content script writer, to create me a script. So it's going to input whatever this checkbox was that it said on that checkbox there. And once I complete it, that's the input that the script writer is going to use. So I'm also going to ask the AI agent to copy the main title from the script. So it's going to look through this script that this creates and grabs the main title out of it. The input is going to come from, again, this AI agent here that I told it to create my script. Then I'm going to have it come down here and create the project. So why did I have it get the main title? Because I needed to put the title in here. So I said, ask for the AI result. So whatever this result was from here, it's put in as the title. And then the rest of the content, which is the actual YouTube script, that's coming up from what this AI agent did here. This is the automation. So let's see this automation in action. I'm going to go back into my projects. Here's my script from. Write a YouTube script based on the title, how to work from home with a toddler. Lesson one is about setting up boundaries when you're in the office. Two is about finding independent play activities for your toddler to do. And lesson three is going to be about when you need to give your toddler undivided attention. Use a story hook type in the introduction, and which I talk about how I used to be stressed when working from home with my toddler. Also include suggestions on scene setups for each lesson. All right, so all I have to do is check this box and my script is being created for me right now as I speak. So we can check that out to make sure it is doing its job by coming into Automation, Script Builder, and Runs. And as you can see, it started the run. It's 25%. Status is it's running. I have to flip back and forth here sometimes just to see the status, the progress change. But there you go. After about, uh, usually about 15 uh, to 30 seconds, no more usually than 30 seconds to actually create the project, I come back into Projects. Looky here, how to work from home with a toddler. It created that for me.
So this is the YouTube script that it created, and this is pretty awesome. Look at this. How to work from home with a toddler. That's the, the working title. But we've got these alternative titles here. What you need to know to work home with a toddler. Why working home from home with a toddler doesn't have to be stressful. How to balance work and parenting with a toddler at home. And then it tells me some ideas for thumbnails. Parent working at a desk on one side, toddler playing on the other, stress expression on the parent's face, um, turning into a smile. You know, uh, parenting on a video call, holding a toddler, and a big bold survival tips, <laughs> you know. So those are some great thumbnail ideas. And then we've got the potential viewer questions. How can I set boundaries? What is independent play activities are suitable for toddlers? How can I make sure my toddler is safe while at work? You know, all of these questions a viewer might have based off of your thumbnail and title. And you want to make sure you kind of answer these questions within your video. So let's go into the script part. Hey there, working parent. Are you struggling to manage working from uh, manage work and a toddler from home? Trust me, I've been there. I felt like uh, trying to juggle flaming torches while riding a unicycle. But guess what? I found my balance. And today I'm here to share how you can too. So let me tell you a quick story. A year ago, I was on an important video call and my little one decided it was a perfect time to reenact the final battle from his favorite superhero movie. Spoiler alert, it didn't end well. But from that chaotic experience, I learned some game-changing strategies. Stick around and you won't want to miss these tips. Because that's a good hook in to the lessons that it's going to talk about. Let's start with boundaries. Picture this. One day I had my major deadline, my toddler waltzed in with a marker ready to Picasso my wall. This was my aha moment. Even though I might not necessarily use this story, it's a good example of how you should frame your story. And then it goes into key points. Um, create a clear workspace, a specific area for your workspace, separate corner of the room. Use visuals like do not disturb. Explain that to your toddler, toddler when you're in this space or in a call, it's quiet time. You know, um, kids thrive on routine, schedule. Uh, your most demanding tasks during their nap time, things like that. So I was like, all of these key points I might not have into this particular part about setting boundaries, but it's giving you some ideas, again, that are good. You might need to change this around just a little bit here and there, but not bad information. Next, we're talking about independent play activities. During another crunch time, I discovered the magic of independent play. You know, great setup. You know, age-appropriate toys. Um, activating activity stations, um, technology as a backup, but use them sparingly. I, we, we have kids, we don't let them do a whole lot of technology. So again, great information there and lessons. Um, they talk about a scene set up here. You know, you could have a coloring corner, block building area, things like that. That's awesome, great. Um, and demonstrate the toddler engaging with these activities, so great. And then when you need to give your toddler your undivided attention. Uh, one morning I'm buried in work and didn't notice my toddler's increasing frustrations until he had a full-on meltdown. So then you go into the key points. Plan on a short break so you could spend quality time with your toddler. Quality over quantity. There you go. Pay attention to your toddler's cues. Flexible schedule. So these are, again are all great tips that you can put in a video that's going to help people working at home with a toddler. Um, good little scene setup, uh, fun activities, quick game, reading a book together, great. So again, I'd say 80%, 90% of this script is ready to go. I would tweak and change around a few things, but for the most part, it's done and it only took me literally seconds to do once my agent did all the work for me. All I had to do was put in the prompts and bloop, there you go. Didn't have to write any of this. Um, great conclusion, um, call to action, visit the website, you know, stuff like that. So I once I found out that Taskade could do this, I was hooked. I'm like, this is my new favorite AI to tool. Yes, you can do this in chat GPT and other things like that, but to have it in a document that's ready to go, all you have to do is export it out as a PDF or whatever, and you're good to go. If you want to learn more about TaskAid, I have an affiliate link below, and that does help support this channel so I can put out more great videos like this. 
I do plan on doing a lot more videos here that help you with working and productivity and saving time. The more time I save, the more time I get to spend with my family. So I think that's where this channel is going to go into to talk about these type of things. And like I said, Taskade is one of the tools that I use that actually helps me save time. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is Mark Warren. Like and subscribe and do all that other YouTube stuff. And we'll see you on the next one.